Hello, and welcome to this next period quick learning video. My name is John, and today I'm going to be discussing the linear mode requirement for a voltage regulating MOSFET, also referred to as a safing MOSFET, in an automotive airbag application. So this here is a circuit diagram for, a, uh, for a, an automotive airbag system. So we have a supply voltage of 25 to 35 volts coming from a boost converter. And this is the, vol uh, the voltage regulating or safing MOSFET that we're discussing. And this regulates the load voltage to 15 to 20 volts, resulting in a VDS across the MOSFET of 10 to 15 volts. Note that it is not part of the airbag controller integrated circuit, uh, which, uh, and because of this, and because typically uh, legacy MOSFETs and DPAC packages are used, this MOSFET's often overlooked. So the uh, airbag controller IC controls the firing of the airbags, referred to as squibs, um, in, a, uh, in the event of a collision. And these squibs require a regulated uh, voltage to ensure they all fire correctly. So the MOSFET needs to be able to handle a uh, pulse of current proportional to the number of squibs uh, controlled by the IC. So it needs to be able to handle this large pulse of current. And because of this, it is uh, deliberately used in linear mode. So what do we mean by linear mode? Well, uh, in short, it means to operate in this region here known as the saturation region. So this is an output characteristic uh, of a typical MOSFET and we've got the, uh, the drain current on the y-axis and the drain source voltage uh, on the x-axis. And you can see that there's two sort of distinct regions. Uh, so before this dashed line is what's known as the RDS on or resistive mode. Uh, and this is where MOSFETs are usually used in. Uh, the, uh, the current is roughly proportional to the drain source voltage. Um, but after this dashed line, uh, we have, it's what's known as linear mode. So this is an area of high current and high uh, voltage, which means there's a lot of power being dissipated by the MOSFET. So it's a very demanding mode of operation. And because of this, it's usually avoided. So you can use the SOA or safe operating area chart to determine whether a MOSFET is suitable to be used in a pulsed linear mode application. So Again, we've got drain current on the y-axis and drain source voltage on the x-axis. And plotted on the chart, we've got the maximum safe drain current at different voltages. You can see at this point here, you reach what's called the uh, constant power line, which is the uh, maximum amount of power that can be dissipated by the MOSFET. Also plotted on the chart, you can see uh, that we've got different um, plots for different pulse lengths with the safe operating area, or SOA, getting smaller for longer pulses of current. Um, and so for short pulse lengths, the MOSFET's able to dissipate all the heat uh, generated. Um, but for, for longer pulses, you can see this deviation here away from the constant power line. And this is due to an effect of heating known as the Spirito effect. And this is essentially where uh, cells in the silicon dye that are conducting uh, get hotter and conduct even more uh, and essentially it's a thermal runaway effect uh, of the MOSFET. And it results in the, sa uh, the safe operating area getting even smaller for longer pulses of current. So to summarise, you need a MOSFET that can handle a pulse of current proportional to the number of airbags controlled by the IC. It needs to be able to uh, operate with a supply voltage of 25 to 35 volts, um, so you need a VDS max of about 60 volts. It needs to be able to handle a pulse of current for a relatively long uh, uh, period of time in the millisecond time frame. Um, and you can use this, uh, the SOA chart printed on the data sheets to determine whether or not the MOSFET is suitable for a pulsed linear mode application. And Xperia have a range of automotive application-specific MOSFETs designed to be used in this application. Uh, for more information about linear mode or safe operating area, you can check out these two application notes on our website, nexperia.com, or watch more quick learning videos. Thank you.